All right, guys, welcome back to another Master and Apprentice Lego review. Today, we have our first ever review of a Lego Star Wars helmet. Uh, they've been doing the helmet series for a couple years now, and Captain Rex is just one of the fan favorites, and I just, I thought I would do it because it's one of my favorites, along with Commander Cody, so we'll get doing on that one. And I know I'm a little bit late to the party on this. Uh, I was waiting for a promo that I really wanted, or that was just waiting for a good promo in general, and I got it, so... With that, we'll do today's review. Today, we've got set 75349, 854 pieces. This is Phase 2 Captain Rex. As you can see in the front, there is no minifigure. It's just the black 18 plus box cover. Got the Republic up top. Um, nothing too much for the side. We do have the 20th anniversary of Clone Wars. Now, for those confused, this is not the Clone Wars that we got in 2008. This is the original Clone Wars series. Um, pictures on the screen will kind of help you know. It is on Disney Plus now if you wanted to go check that out. And then for the back, uh, we actually get some pictures of the Phase 2 Commander Cody. Sorry, Captain Rex. Um, the diameter, 8 inches tall. Uh, just very good display. This it's not The Helmet series has never really been more than a display. So it, that's, it's nothing new than that. But for what it is, it's... Looking very sleek already. And I love the black boxes, especially for the 18 plus. I think it fits perfectly. All right. And then I don't usually talk about the manual, but today we're going to talk about the manual. I talked about it in a Avatar set review. They've really just started jipping out on any art for the manuals, which I really miss. This one has a little bit with this black corner, but that that's most I've seen in the last two years for any art for the manual. However, the 18 plus sets usually have some sort of message on the inside. As you can see, it talks about the origins of Captain Rex and the Clone Wars and the Clone Wars era, especially the phase two, as you can see. And that is the designer of the set. That's in other languages. But the rest of it, very plain. Now, usually that doesn't matter, but I just, I really wish they would get back to doing something. This is all white. It's just boring. And to the actual set and display. Very beautiful helmet. There's really not one thing I dislike a whole lot. And I'll get into the things that I sort of dislike. But then I'll explain why it is a perfect set to me. So the first front of it obviously is accurate. I mean you saw the pictures of the actual Phase 2 Clone Wars art. And it's accurate as can be. And on the pictures on the screen, you'll see, I mean, it has everything. It has the markings, the Mandalorian markings, has the T-Visor, and it even has the uh, tallies of the droids he's killed, right? Everything. It's very well done. Something in the Clone Wars is that they have six of these ventilation holes, whatever you want to call them. In the movie, they have four. And sometimes Lego likes to put five to kind of meet in the middle of the Clone Wars and the actual movies. But this is a Clone Wars helmet, and they put six. And I literally, to the minor detail, it is perfect. There's some building techniques that are just u very unique. Usually you would think this is like some tubing pieces, but it's not. I love how it looks. Came across very well. This, all these, you know, angle pieces aren't the strongest, and that's something that I dislike, but it looks great, and you're not going to be touching and playing with it, so it doesn't matter, right? For instance, this bottom piece here, there's an angle that you put on, and it's easy to snap off, right? But since you're not touching it, and it's actually the bottom of it, it doesn't look bad at all, and it doesn't really matter. The side, again, the striping is on par. It's very, very matched well with the source material, the markings, everything. The back looks very strong. They do a good job of making it look like a helmet that could literally just fit on perfectly. The antenna was kind of unique. It's a little bit, you know, when they 
because you build it upside down, right? This is this would normally be the top, I mean the bottom, but they just did a really good job in the building technique of all of it, and it looks strong. Um, the plaque looks nice. It is printed. I really love that. I struggle with any kind of stickers, um, but this is plaque, and I love that. And it's just, it's sturdy enough, right? You can drop it a little bit, and it's very sturdy. I love it a lot, a lot. All right, so the final review, it, it this is an amazing set. I really, I'm not a big helmet guy, but, you know, I couldn't miss Captain Rex, a finally Clone Wars helmet. So I jumped on it, and I love it. I'm going to have to start buying some of these helmets, not just Clone Wars helmets, because if they're on par with this, with the source material being super correct, with it being super displayable, it's... If what it is, it's not a play set, it's a displayable 18 plus set, it's got to be a 10 out of 10 for me. There's no other way it's not a 10 out of 10. I definitely recommend this. $70, it's a little bit high, but you get your piece count. If you care about that, you get that. The displayability, it's strong. It's not something you're going to be losing a lot of pieces of. It's just all around a great set to buy. And I, I, I definitely recommend this to any of you guys considering it. If you haven't already. Um, but yeah, with that, let me know what you guys thought of this set. If you haven't bought it already. And with that, we hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.